<laughs> Welcome back, folks, to Fishing Planet today. We are going to be talking about oversized fishing. Uh, these are general tips for a lot of species. Um, and a lot of this I have learned quite a bit over the last couple of weeks, probably about two, three weeks. Uh, now, tomorrow's video will be on bream specifically. We had the one about carp a while ago. I'll try to leave that in a pinned comment for down below. And then um, specifically, uh, Big Head and Silver Carp are going to be on uh, Saturday. So we're going to be doing them videos upcoming here. Um, so pay attention to this. This video is going to be about general tips and what I've learned recently that makes a difference for all fish. And I'm going to start out, people, right at the beginning. So if you don't know what oversized fish are, let's go over here to leaderboards. So at Russia, for example, um, without a mix, uh, fish only get to a certain size. And this can this will be any lake. We're looking at Russia right now just so you guys can see it, Aktuba River, Russia. Um, but fish only get to a certain size without spotting them um, and in when you spot them you can get what a bigger one what's called over we we've, we've been calling it oversized there isn't a name for it in the game uh technically but that's what we always call oversized so as you can see here this fourth to fifth is the cutoff for normal ones that you would normally get and these ones above it are oversized so at 38 um 38 pounds or about 17 kilograms for our metric friends at russia that's the biggest you're going to get at carp until you start using a spod mix um and russia obviously isn't the most popular for carp like weeping willows i'm just using this example because you can see the clear distinction between the top at 44 and down here at 38 you know so you can see the difference um, now, I want to be very clear, each species is different at each lake. For example, if if we go over to uh, to Weeping Willows, this is not wouldn't be an oversized fish if I had caught it at Weeping Willows, because at Weeping Willows, you can see they get much bigger. They get absolutely a lot bigger. And this is uh, this happens whether you're oversized fishing or not. There are differences between lakes. So, for example, a unique here, I believe, starts at, um, uh, we'll look here really quick. Uh, a unique actually starts here at 33 pounds or uh, 15 kilograms. And if you go down to Russia... A unique actually starts down at like 27 or 28. So it's always good to check out where you're at. Um, yeah, so 20, 29 is a unique at um, at, Ru at Russia, whereas at, you know, Weeping Willows, it's higher. So each fish is different for each thing. And also, it's not just carp that can get oversized folks either. Um this is going to sound even nuts, but I've had uh, this last week, We've I had about 10 trophy or oversized trophy goby, which is not something to brag about, uh, but just to prove that they are out there. Um, and some of the other things I've learned this week, uh, it is almost all European predator carp or roaches to any, any of the most, anything that you can only catch in Europe. Uh, that is a you know a carp or a small predator carp type fish you know like roach uh, gobies would be on that list i'd anything like that can be the other things in the game yet haven't really um, gotten oversized but i've only tried a little bit so also big head carps at big head and silver at sander bagger sea are good ones for oversized fishing um, we'll be talking about them more on Saturday. But one thing I can tell you guys is, I'm going to leave this up here so you guys can put it down. We had a video about this recipe mix, and I'm not saying it's the best. Clearly, uh, there's there's other recipes that might catch a bigger carp, you know, or whatever it may be. But this recipe, if you guys want to pause, you guys can take in. 
this is the recipe I made. Um, actually, I made it just for carp, and it happens to work out for everything, including oversized gobies. Um, I've caught 100-pound um, big heads and silvers, uh, or mid-90s. Um, and like I said, it does, it's not the best at everything, but this is good for a lot, and including um, bream. Um, so this has been working if you guys do want to type it down or put it into your stuff if you guys are metric too if you guys go over to here it'll ask you if you want to restart your console but you can if you want go down to here and you can switch your units uh, from metric to imperial restart and then add the recipe and then put it back and it'll be in there in in, in for you in metric uh just so you guys uh, if you guys are metric and you want to use the recipe, this is what we use this weekend uh, to make it to the semifinals on with bream, and we were catching oversized bream with it. Um, not not as effective at the Germany bream as it is the Russian bream, um, but it will work um, at all places. I even uh, went and caught a oversized common bream unique at weeping wells too just to check it because uh just to make sure it works everywhere but it also it does work in a lot of places so some of the things i've noticed recently guys when it comes to uh, these oversized fish basically anything that gets that's been made for oversized carp will work for all of them so if you have your own carp mix guys go ahead and try it out because it's probably going to work and it seems to matter on each fish specifically uh, how much weight you throw. That seems to be is more important even than the mix. Uh, for example, uh, they vary quite a bit. Bream at Germany seemed to like the, the 60 ounces or like 2 kilograms thrown into the water. And if you guys don't know... Um, you make these mixes and you throw them on a, let's go down here to my spot reel. Um, let's, oop, where is my spot? There we go. So, and you can equip the recipe right to here and then spot out a bunch of weight. Um, and so when you're doing that, the weight matters on each fish that you're doing, guys. For example, uh, the, like I was talking about, 60 ounces or 2.2 kilograms seem to be what Germany bream like. Um, but then when you go to Russia, it seems like 80 is the way to go. Or, for example, if you do uh, weeping willows, 120 ounces works really good. Uh, or anything over 100 for your normal carp. And then you go to something like big head carp, where they seem to want around 200 ounces or at least 170 ounces to really get them big, big ones. Um, but anyway, guys, this is just kind of like an introduction to the oversized fish for people that don't know anything about it. And it's they're basically fish that you can catch that you wouldn't with spotting with a mix that you wouldn't normally be able to catch within the game. One thing I wanna, I wanna. Uh, to kind of uh, address, as I've heard it a few times, a 70-pound uh, a, a uh, Alaskan Chinook is not an oversized fish. That's not what we're talking about what it is. Oversized fish are stuff that you can't normally get in the game without a mix. And by the way, Chinooks, um, uh, Chinooks get to... Uh, quite a bit bigger in fact so Chinooks get naturally on their own they can get as high as 77 pounds or 35 kilograms just naturally um but anyway guys I've, I've heard some weird stuff like that recently I want to address that but I haven't had any luck with like any American fish or like northerns or anything like that now I'll be trying more down the road obviously also, if you guys want to see more of these oversized fishing, I've actually set up just a carp one for fun tomorrow. If you guys want to watch that live stream to see more or ask questions about this, 
you're more than welcome to come join. But normally I don't uh, try to promote my streams on my actual uh, YouTube video, but because this might raise some questions, I figure I would do a stream about it just in case, uh, and we will be doing that tomorrow. So uh, anyway, guys, hopefully you guys have a great day, and we'll see you next time, folks.